Okay, we are live. Um, welcome to um, Chitwood's cast of characters. Um, the introduction to the friends of my life that make it so much fun. And I've got a funny, funny guest with me today. Friend that I've known since I was a freshman in high school. Um, we used to beat him in junior high and then we became friends in high school. Uh, you'll know him as the third greatest quarterback to ever walk the halls of Arl Turner, right behind Steve Stamp and Maria Ortiz. Hump and o, come say hi to Facebook World. How you doing, Doug? Turner Lions, baby. Turner Lions. Okay. Let me, I'm gonna ha tag Hunt real quick. Okay, so Hunt's on. I like, um, how do you like my jersey? Hey, I like it. I, mean, I still fit. That's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Let me see here. Okay, um, Hunt, so how this works, I just want you to be yourself, I want you to be funny, and I also want to get you to give a bio of yourself. Okay. So, Hunt, the floor is yours, talk for a couple of 30 seconds. A bio time. about myself. Yes. It's never been too hard for me to think up things uh, about myself. Here we are at my, my parents' house, you can see the Christmas tree. My mom likes to get into Christmas spirit right around Halloween. And we all enjoy it here. I, uh, I'm a trial lawyer, and I'll say it's trial lawyer here in Dallas. I get to help folks that uh, have had a friend or family member die uh, in a car wreck or train wreck or truck wreck, any kind of wreck. We help counsel their families and help them through that. I think my favorite part about it is not just in helping them get the resources and money that they need, but there's a lot of counseling that goes on. Uh, they've gone through the worst part of their life usually, and so we, uh, you know, it's part of our, our mission. We, we get to make it into our ministry and, and introduce folks to, to Jesus uh, at a time when they really need it. Okay, Hunt, work, work, taking this thing off. Work, work your computer real quick okay. and so I can see it. Because um, right now, so you can see it. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, I'm there on. we go. There we go. Okay. Is that me? Yep, that's you. So here we go. He's taking off his um, jersey from high school, which is awesome. Um, so, Hunt, you know, you watched Taylor last week? Yep. Beautiful, funny girl. You've got a lot to live up to. Okay. So, how it works, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. You answer the way you want, and then if you feel like you want to ask me something, go ahead. Okay. But, i got lots of stuff to ask you. Okay. Um, my first question for you, Hunt, is what fictional place would you most like to go, and why? You know, I grew up in the Fantasy Island. Time. A Sunday night, we'd watch Love Boat. There'd be Fantasy Island. And if I go anywhere, you I'm know what's I... funny about Love Boat? My parents would not let me watch Love Boat because it had too much kissing in it. But go ahead. Well, it was Sunday night. And we went to church Sunday night, but it was right before we went. And Fantasy Island, they had all these great guys that came in and got to do whatever they want. I would go back, and every girl from high school and college and law, I mean, everybody, I would just be one of those guys that every girl <laughs> wanted to date. And it would be like a fantasy island for like seven years to where, you know, good looking girls. And I'd be saying, no, that kind of thing. That'd be my, maybe. I so your fantasy kind of is to have a bunch of girls to like you. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> that's the fantasy. Okay, no, no, that's a good fantasy. I mean, I think we've been trying to do that since ninth grade. Yeah. Okay, good answer. I like it. And I actually would answer the same thing because fantasy island was one of those places that you just always wanted to go to. So good answer. What was that midget's name? Hey, well, it, little people. Little bit. So, okay, so there was a little guy that would say the plane. The plane, the plane. That would be the, the other plane. thing coming in on a private yeah, jet. Yeah, no, you're that right. That's fun. Cool. Okay, so um, good answer. Okay, my next question to you, Hunt, is what would be the most adventure that you would like to go on? Adventure. Uh, I, yeah. Any, anything. If I, okay, if I could choose any adventure whatsoever, my favorite movie of all time is, is uh, Michael J. Fox and Back to the Future. Uh, I would want a time machine. I would, want to, I would want two trips. I would want to go forward and backwards. First, I'd go forward, you know, make sure, see how my grandkids are doing, find out which one of my kids becomes president of the United States, that kind of thing, and then I'd probably go backwards. Do you, do you okay. think your grandkids could be president of the United States oh, yeah, when they sure. dig into their past and hear the things that you've done? If they can erase, I think by that time, maybe they'll be able to go and erase everything their dad or granddad did. Okay, that makes sense. And if they're able to eliminate my name and my actions, 
uh, I think uh, they could do it. And then I'd want to go back in time because I'd like to see my mom and dad make sure or, you know, see if they did all the stuff they said they did or maybe they, well, I would like maybe to they see, send and maybe to see I can figure that if out. they were as good then as they are now. Yeah, right. right. I surely they know, weren't. I don't know if you know this about the Bonos, and not this Bono, but his parents' Bonos. They are the nicest people in the world and will do anything for you. I don't know what happened to the kids because they're not like that. They're a little bit like that, but not like the parents. Not like this one. But, um, but no. So, um, well, that, that's that's good. Yeah. I I do have something I have to ask you, and I forgot about when I announced that Hunt Bono was going to be my guest today on Chitwood's cast of characters. I got more text and phone calls. Even my sister asked, "Who is this girl in pictures on Facebook with you, Hunt?" So. Inquiring which mind, one? Wanting which to... one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a very, very sweet girl, Jessica. So far, cross your fingers. She hasn't dumped me yet. So. You think Jessica's watching? I don't know. Has she said I don't anything? know. I can't see the phone. Too small. She actually so has. I'll tell you what. She's got better. She's if pretty busy. If something doesn't happen busy, between she's you got and, stuff going If something on. happens between you and Jessica, Jessica, call me. I will give you my number. All right. So, sorry. I had to do it. But, uh People care about Hunt and want to know that he's happily and dating, and apparently he is, because I've met her, and she's a super nice girl. So, anyway. Okay, we're getting around to the end, because we decided to make it about 13 minutes long. How long has it been? So, it's been right at seven minutes, but this is where the fun stuff goes. Uh-oh. So, I'm going to ask you, and you can ask me, what's your oh, yeah. greatest memory of me? And we've had a lot of good times. For a lot of years, so think hard. Go. Well, I've thought of so many different things I could say, but I think the thing about you from that I remember from my, when I first met you was in high school how approachable all the girls were to you. Yeah. You know, like I'm, you know, and it, or even the football coaches. I mean, everybody they would hug you, they would get in your car. It was just like easy for you. You know, to have all those people around you. And what I've seen as we've gotten older is that you still have that ability. And well, that's nice. Yeah, I, I consider, well, I mean, it's a gift in a way. And, and I, I see the approachability that you have both in your business, the Brian Brandt thing that we did, all the different functions you put together. And reminds me a lot, reminds me a lot of Jesus and the way folks Wow. Didn't see him as a religious guy, but I think the talent that you have, the gift that you have of people being, uh, of you being approachable to people uh, is not something that everybody has, and I've always admired that. And I feel like I need to hug you. That's a really nice thing to say. Okay. So, enough of that. But thank you, Hunter, for saying that. Wow. That's going to make my stuff seem kind of petty. What I, I, I know you got great things so, about me to say. So do you have anything you want to ask me? What I'm wondering about you is, how did you come up with this talent that all of these people, whether it's a football coach or, or, or our friends from high school or the real estate, you, you just, just this approachability that you have? Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I guess my mom was pretty, um, she loved her friends and loved getting together with them. But the funny thing is, when I was a kid, mom would hear me playing with my neighborhood friends, Bo, Charles, Craig Elliott, and she'd say to me, how do you have any friends? You're so hateful to them and bossy. I, I, well, I mean, I wasn't allowed to say everything, but that's the other part of it is, so, you know, on the back end, sometimes we, all of us get together and say, good night. Do we have to invite him again? Yeah, no, I get it. My favorite memory. Now, I've already, I've, you've given the memory. Want to know my memory? I you? want to know. I want <laughs> Say, okay, I'm sorry. That yes. was me kind of feeding him the lines. That, I'm not that, as prepared. It, so anyway. All right, your favorite memory of so, me. So it's, it's um, there's a ton of memories. So back in the day, we didn't have social media. I don't know if you're aware of that. When we grew up, we didn't I have had cell a camera. Phones. I carried a camera. But we would get in a car, Tim, Robbie, Joe, Bo, Warren, yeah. all these people would get in a car. We'd drive around hours looking for girls. We never, we found, never found any. Never. never not once. Any. Not one time. But we made more memories driving around, going on a tank of gas, driving all through Dallas and 
farmer grants looking for girls or anybody that, that would talk to us. Also, we had a lot of fun playing football together. Yeah. It was fun watching you play. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then most recently, um, our Seattle trip. Yes. It was one of the top trips I've yes. taken on that we uh, went on. Do you so, have a favorite memory from Forest Lane? Forest so, Lane. That would be when Jeff Wharton stole a cassette tape out of a girl's car that we pulled over to talk to on Forest Lane. And what was exciting about that? Just Well, it, I don't know if it was exciting, but it was kind of an insight to Jeff Wharton's mentality where we wanted to talk to girls and he wanted to steal things from right. <laughs> Jeff is no longer on Facebook, so I can say anything I want about him. So, well, do you remember the time? There, I thought there was a time that I accidentally was responsible for getting your tooth chipped. So well, I, don't I know always have felt bad because I think I'm the one with my mouth got us into trouble. The guy came to fight us. I ran, and you got. How'd that go? Do you remember? Yeah, it did go well for me. Um, I just remember getting hit in the mouth with a beer bottle. Oh. I mean, Coke bottle. Yes. Um, because we weren't anywhere near people drinking beer back then. Yeah. But, no, it's just one of those things. I shouldn't have got out of the car. Lots of learning. Okay, been. so okay. Huh, we've gone 12 minutes, and we wanted to be 13 minutes. Okay. So um, I appreciate I you letting me be on the show. I, I think it was fun. I hope everybody enjoyed meeting my friend Hunt. Again, we're going to do this every Wednesday until people quit to say stop doing it because it's annoying. But, you know, I love my friends. I just want to introduce everyone to them. And, again, Hunt Bono, Third best quarterback. But, by the way, Maria Ortiz, I trained her. So, you coached her. I, yeah, I should, we should be tied. We had some great girl athletes. Yeah. Powder Puff, we won. Only time the juniors have ever won was our junior year. And I can I take some credit for that? Somebody wants to know about Robbie Van Winkle on Forest Lane. We don't yeah. care about Robbie. No, we do. We're, we're proud of Robbie. We, we like Robbie, and we want him to come and be on Facebook Live. Robbie Van Winkle, Vanilla Ice, this is a call for you to come to Farmer's Branch, Facebook Live, Chitwood's cast of characters. Peace. Thank you all. Bye. Thanks, Hunt. Bye.